Okay, I'm Ulrike Gens from Schnee Eule. So I run the only one real wilderness advice brewery in the world. Um, yeah, uh, the brewery exists since 2016. Uh, first was a little bit a, a study project because I study brewing technology and I was quite interested in uh, real building advice and still I am. And uh, I found a lot of people want to drink it also like me. And uh, yeah, my philosophy is bring back real building advice to Berlin to the Berliners and to the world, because the most people don't know what the real Berliner Weisse is. So maybe short that we that we understand us. Uh, it's a low alcohol uh, wheat beer with, fermented with lactobacillus and retinomyces in the bottle. So why, have, why was this style lost in Berlin where it all started? Uh, it gets lost because uh, the people want to drink higher alcoholic beers, the people want to drink Pilsner, the people um, yeah, uh, started uh, see Berliner Weisse like a children's drink with uh, syrup. Yeah, it's a red, green, fancy, colored, uh, like a lemonade, low alcohol and um, they totally forgot that's a really nice and elegant beer. And um, yeah, Radeberger Group bought uh, the last Berliner Weisse breweries and the whole breweries in Berlin in the 19s. And they choose Kinder Weisse for the Berliner Weisse in the future. And that was the worst uh, choice because it's industrial brewed, okay, you can scale it, so like a kettle sour, yeah, uh, but a real Berliner Weisse have to have, uh, have Brettanomyces because this makes the character of this beer, makes a pelage, makes a, uh, the aromas, yeah, makes a, yeah, that you need. So, and um, I drank it in a, in a brewer's party and I, I think it's the best beer style in the world. And so I, I looked for the microorganisms, I looked for possibilities to brew. And so I started Schnee Euler in 2016. And um, yeah, get quite famous with my little, little, little brewery. <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm the smallest brewery here. <laughs> What's the production per year? Uh, last year I produced 150 uh, hectoliters, so it's almost nothing. Uh, Schultheis, the last real Berliner Weiss brewery in Berlin, produced 100 hectoliters a batch, so um, a week, minimum a week, <laughs> so that's quite low. Um, <laughs> and uh, I guess what you're trying to do is something that happened to Gers where it almost died out, it was, grew out of favor, and and lambics in uh, Belgium and then slowly over the last 20 years it's now huge and popular and I, are you trying to do the same I mean you're using Brett's as well uh, are you trying to do the same for Berliner Weisse? Uh, the Berliner Weisse with Brettel Meisters existed so till 19th uh, the, the 19th of the of the last century so and it's a 400 years old Berlin, uh, beer steel so uh, we have to bring it back and give back the Berliners the beer tradition. Yeah, because it's a lot of tradition also in, in Berliner Weisse. Uh, so for, yeah, you can drink it when it's young, you can drink it when it's old, you can age it for 20, 30 years. The oldest Berliner Weisse, oh, what's, what's drinkable, was 60 years old, what I drank. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm sure they are much older beers. Berliner uh, uh, Weisse, uh, you can drink when you find it somewhere in the cellars. <laughs> and it's the, the uh, point, the limitation point is it's a cap. When, when the cap is, is good, then the beer is good. Where do you go from here? Now that you're becoming so well known in Berlin, Germany, and around in the world here 
you know, you're here in Brussels for Wanderlust. Where do you go from here? Do you up production? Do you stay small? Yeah, since this year, so over Corona, uh, I, I produced just alone. So I'm a two man show. So a little bit my husband and me as a full worker. So this makes it small. And uh, yeah, imagine it was an almost forget it style, uh, beer style. Yeah. And so I have to uh, grow the idea. Aha, this is real Berliner Weisse. It's not just a kettle sour. It's not just a fruited sour. It's, a, it's not the style. It's a real one. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, and this makes it also famous because the brewers like this style because it's so low in alcohol and a lot of taste and not that boring, more interesting with the, with the breads. Yeah. And this is a yeah, style to save, definitely. Thank you so much. <laughs> for being with me. Yeah, thank you for uh, this attention. Definitely. <laughs> hope, hope for more talking about real Berlin and Excellent. not just kettle well, sours. We'll continue the conversation. And I'm yeah. I'm going to love tasting your beers. Now I know more about it. Yes. Thank you. Try it. <laughs>